was um was Mark Chernoff involved? Because I know he yeah. he he was involved in uh, potentially bringing you to replace Stern. No, 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 no. The uh, the Stern was because uh, he was than Mark. I Mark think he was all right because yeah, the fan at that time. And I thought he was also involved in developing Free FM. I he thought... he had a finger on it for sure. Uh, and we met uh, more about Free FM than about Stern. Okay. Um. So he was not. I don't think he was more focused on sports uh, programming for the company. So I did not meet Mark for that. I did talk to Mark about Free FM, and ultimately, obviously, going to the fan. We had a secret meeting at Harold's di uh, Deli in Edison, New Jersey, to go over the deal with Mike. No, not with Mike, with Mark Chernoff. No, but when when was there also a secret meeting? Then there was also another oh, meeting yeah. with Mike at one point. Yeah, so once I had the job, uh, we met. It was me, Mark Chernoff, and Mike Francesa at the Cup Diner in Astoria in Queens. And it's raining outside. And Mike comes in with sunglasses on and didn't take them off. And he wouldn't even look in my direction. And Mark's talking about how Boomer and Carton are going to be great, this and that. Hadn't done a show yet. And I'll never forget, Mike says it's going to fail miserably. Uh, no one's going to be able to work with Boomer. He's a former quarterback. He's an egomaniac. It's not going to work. Of course, he reiterated that he could make it work, but only he could make it work. And I remember I remember before he left the lunch, he said, look, if Cherney says you're the guy, then I guess you're the guy, but it ain't going to work. And that was it. Was uh, was Chris Russo just as supportive of, of you being hired and paired with Boomer? Chris Russo famously asked me in the hallway a couple months into my tenure there if I like sports. <laughs> <laughs> we were in a little hallway in between my office and uh, Chernoff's office. And whatever bit we had done that day was not sports related. And uh, he comes up to me and says, do you even like sports? <laughs> and uh, that's we have that clip that became a famous clip.